Hey Slashaholics, it's another exciting unboxing video presented by Slash Tracks. Uh, this is the second time that HorrorPack.com has sent us their monthly Horror Pack Blu-ray and DVD uh, surprise box sets. As of right now, I've got the September Blu-ray box, and Alex has the August Blu-ray box. And we're going to find out exactly what goodies we got, uh, and you're going to get to hear us... Uh, talk about them in real time and see what we get in real time. I have no idea what I've got, and he has no idea what he's got. So we'll just start off one at a time, and uh, we'll see what we uh, see what we end up with. So you going first? I'll start with the first disc, and maybe we can just alternate. Um, they put it in a box and package it, which is pretty cool. They double wrapped it, Josh. They're ultra protection, dude. They take care of their product. That's good. You can't talk to them very. You can't talk to the DVDs very loudly. They're very fragile. It says, you know. Oh, so I don't want to upset them. Emotionally fragile, not physically fragile. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's just emotionally fragile. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hey, my first one out of the box is one I've actually wanted to see. It's called Ma. I have not got to see this one yet. What, um, what does it say? It says Sue Ann, which is an Oscar winner, Octavia Spencer, is a loner who keeps to herself in her quiet Ohio town. When she is asked by a teenage boy to buy some booze for her group of friends... Sue Ann offers the, offers the basement of her house for the kids to hang out and party. But there are some uh, house rules. Never go upstairs and call her Ma as her hospitality starts to curdle into obsession. What began as a teenage dream turns into a terrorizing nightmare and Ma's place goes from the best place in town to the worst place on earth. And they, this one actually isn't like uh, a couple of the other ones I got last time. Like it seemed like red box uh, uh, versions. It's yeah. actually got bonus. It's actually got bonus materials and came with a digital copy. So uh, Damn. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Damn, Horpack, <laughs> going to Ma's house, man. I don't know if I like. Hey, can you buy us alcohol? It's like, no, but you can come to my basement, and uh, there's safe words involved. It's like, okay, uh, I don't want to party that bad. Uh, pass what? on that one, Ma. Our names are Alex and Josh. What's yours? Call me Ma. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, great. Let's, let's see what I got. Let's take a look. All right. All right. Hey! Anaconda. I saw this movie in the theater uh, back in, like, 1995. So, in case you've been living under a rock for the past 25 years, Anaconda stars Jennifer Lopez, Ice Cube, John Voight, and Eric Stoltz. Uh, a documentary film crew headed by uh, anthropologist Steve Kale, who's played by Eric Stoltz, and director Terry Flores, who's J-Lo ventures into the world's most isolated jungle, the Amazon, in search of a lost and forgotten civilization. Early in the journey, they come to the, uh, the aid of Paul Cerrone, a para oh man, para Paraguayan, guide, uh, Paraguayan guide, John Voight, who joins their expedition. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, just all hell breaks loose because of a giant snake. Giant snakes, like in big the, time. Yeah, huge in the Amazon, and Ice Cube's there, and he's fresh off the movie Friday in '95, so he's living his best life. John Voight's just about ready to do uh, Varsity Blues. Uh, everything. J Lo's about ready to be Jack's teacher, Robin Williams' teacher, and Jack. So check that out. Thank you, Horpack. Yeah, you this, this is around the time that we found out that John Voight was Angelina Jolie's dad. Yeah. But it was before the time that we found out that John Boyd is kind of crazy and a conspiracy theorist. But that's okay because great movie had it had like three sequels, the third of which starred none other 
Oh my god, the name is is I'm just losing me. The lifeguard from uh, Baywatch. Uh, he's a singer. Yes, Hasselhoff? Hasselhoff is the star of Anaconda Three, uh, <laughs> which is a little Anaconda trivia for you. Anaconda uh, versus Cocaine Bear. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's see here. This one is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. So I think this is the one that Horror Pack helps make because there's always one of these in the box, I think. Okay. And it's called The Woman in the Chair. Okay? One of the most taunting movies made says BWWTV, which could mean... It could just be a kid naming their alphabets. I don't know. Uh, and ex, expa, expatriate in Japan finds a ghost sitting motionless in a chair and decides to monetize her discovery by creating a ghost tourism business for the wealthy. Little does he know that viewing the woman in the chair brings obsession and death to all of her spectators. That sounds creepy. And, uh, yeah, it's called Woman in the Chair. Um, I thought Woman in the Chair, the name of that title was my uh, the, the biography of my grandma Helen because she slept in the living room chair my entire childhood. She never <laughs> slept in the same room with my grandpa. Woman <laughs> had, in the Chair, the story of Helen Combs. Right. I think I had one, Alex, that when we'd visit, it it looked like they never left the chair. Uh, Or or woman in the chair could be like Eileen, uh, what's her name, the serial killer? Eileen Warnos? Yeah, it could be like a a name for her life story. Um, Woman in the chair, the story of Alex's grandma, and the horror and terror of the whole film is just her listening in on his private phone calls and telling him to hang up the portable phone so the battery doesn't die. (laughs) Woman in the chair. All right, here we go. Here's my next one. Okay. It's called Countdown. So Countdown, and it says death. There's an app for that. Uh, When a young nurse, Elizabeth Lale, downloads an app that claims to predict exactly when a person is going to die... It tells her that she only has three days to live. With time ticking away and death closing in, she must find a way to save her life before time runs out. Initial thoughts on this very first snap uh, reaction from me. They just took the plot of The Ring and said, we're going to cut down a whole week down to three days and we're just going to make it an app instead of a VHS tape. That's this movie. Final Fantasy, the app. Uh, downloaded at the Google Store, you know. Yeah. That that the whole the whole ring thing can be done right still, I think, and be uh, creepy. But it just there's been so many of them since then, and now it's an app. I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'd have to yeah. check out. It's not even the ring, dude. The countdown is just a ripoff of the ring. But hey, four pack. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for sending it my way. Well, my next one is a movie that I have not sat down and watched the first one yet, even though you have told me in the past to watch the first one. So I'm going to have to watch both of them. But it's The Boy 2. It's part two to The Boy. The first one starred uh, Maggie from The Walking Dead. And she's supposed to be like babysitting for this wealthy family. And it appears that they want her to babysit a doll. But, like, a real kid is there. Like, some crazy killing stuff goes on. Okay. But this one, it says, Unaware of the terrifying history of Hillshire Mansion, a young family moves into a guest house on an estate where their young son soon makes an unsettling new friend, an eerily lifelike doll he calls Brahms. Katie Holmes, oh God, stars as a mother who increasingly becomes uneasy and terrorized by her son's new supernatural friend. And it has bonus features and a digital code as well. That's pretty cool. Katie Katie Holmes was the gal from Dawson's Creek who was married to Tom Cruise? 
Yeah, yeah, and then uh, part three of The Boy, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's sister is going to play her part. Um, oh, yeah, she's... just like The Dark Knight. Okay, <laughs> um, I want Tom Cruise to, after this horror pack unboxing episode, I want Tom Cruise, if he watches this, uh, I want him to uh, directly go to his cell phone and apologize to Katie Holmes for her having to not be in movies that are big budget anymore. He did this to her, okay? He created this. Is it going to be good? Probably. But could she do better? Probably. This is Tom Cruise's fault, okay? The boy is probably Tom Cruise, fucking with her career. We'll <laughs> see what be, I got. He could huh? be mistaken for a small doll. Yeah. So he could be on to something. Probably. All right, dude. <laughs> Dark Tales from Channel X. Ooh. Anthology. Hey. Made for those who grew up watching titles like Creep Show and The Twilight Zone. Okay. When an old uh, when an old TV set mysteriously turns on, babysitter Cassie is treated to a series of tales full of curses, creatures, and stalkers, presented by an ina- enigmatic host known only as the viewer. I would not mind watching that one. I love anthology. Yeah, Does me too. Does the uh, cover art have anything like... Uh, creepy or like a monster looking thing on the back no not really not really um here's the back you got a little little tna tees on the bottom there some hot chick uh it just looks like somebody standing in front of a bunch of old tvs on the cover there so maybe go ahead no i'm looking forward to that one that's the best one so far anaconda's good too but i've seen it a ton yeah, so far, that Channel X has me the most intrigued. It sounds mm-hmm. like it's the worst. It's like maybe like a low-budget uh, Tales from the Dark Side movie or something. I'm down but with even, that. Even at that, it sounds great. Yep. Uh, the last one on the list, I guess, is one of my personal favorite Jordan and Pill movies. A Blu-ray of Get Out. Nice. Jackpot, you know? baby. Yeah, it's like they know they knew it was our last one of the upload, and they're like, "Get out!" Um, <laughs> In the this, episode, <laughs> this one I think needs no like full read down of the description. Uh, it's a great movie. What were your thoughts on Get Out? Um, you're gonna you're not gonna like me for this. I have not seen it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I, I'll read it for you then. Okay. <clears throat> the voice has been a little messed up here. Get Out is a true original, grimly tense and in tune with its time. When Chris, a young African-American man, visits his wife, girlfriend's family estate, he becomes ensnared in the more sinister, real reason for the invitation. At first, Chris needs the family's overly accommodating behavior as nervous attempts to deal with their daughter's interracial relationship. But as the weekend progresses, a series of increasingly disturbing discoveries lead him to a truth that he could have never imagined. This speculative thriller has Blumhouse producers of the Visit Insidious series and the grift and the mind of Jordan Peele uh, from Key and Peele is equal parts a gripping thriller and provocative commentary. Nice. What it is, is a family has delved into um, the fountain of youth. I don't want to give too much more okay. to it. Uh, but there is a lot where you think there's just a bunch of racist people, which, in a way, that can kind of be how some of it is taken. Uh, let's just say the boyfriend, fiance, whatever, uh, is in over his head. And it is literally a fight against time. Get Out is a great psycho horror movie. A right. psycho thriller. And uh, Alex, I think you'll really enjoy it. In fact, whenever you finish that Channel X, we can do a little swap. All right. And, uh, you know, I'll send it your way and vice versa. Little DVD, Blu-ray, wipe swap action. Got it. <laughs> All right. Last Blu-ray of the unboxing. And, uh... Let's do it. Let's let's end up on a good note. Hey! The Invisible Man. And this is a newer movie, too. Uh, so it stars Elizabeth Moss. I'm pretty sure she's in The Handsmaid Tale on whatever. It's a really popular show. Basically, yeah. 
she's she leaves her guy and he I mean I'm not saying anything that's not in the trailer he turns himself invisible and nobody believes her uh, so it's basically a psychological thriller it's not even really like a horror movie um, I've seen it and I really enjoyed it so mm-hmm. yeah the invisible man she knows that her ex is invisible and is effing with her and nobody believes her so it's it's pretty good it's a good watch definitely thank you horror pack yeah thank you horror pack this was a great this is a great box I mean I don't think there's an equivalent to American mummy in this so, and that's the only complaint I had last time. Yeah, with no swamp uh, at no swamp gut. We have no monster brawls in here. Uh, <laughs> we got a pretty good August and September were pretty good months. Oh yeah, and uh, viewers, if you haven't done so already, you've got to sign up for Horror Pack. If you're a horror fan that loves a good movie, and these these are better than some of the schlock you get at Redbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are some great titles. Some of the times are movies you never even heard of and you're going to walk away adding them to your favorite list um horror pack all the information is going to be in the description they offer great prices for dvds or blu-rays coming to you every month and it looks like every couple months we're going to be doing an unboxing uh to keep you up to date on what the horror pack is putting out there yeah, it's exciting to get uh, these horror pack unboxings are a lot of fun because I like the mystery of it. I like not knowing what we're gonna get. It's kind of it's like Christmas morning, like I said in the previous unboxing we did. But it, it really is close to it. It's like a stocking for a horror fan. Yeah. It's really cool. You know, they're they're gonna be unhappy with one of our unboxings, and we're gonna end up with like one box with four copies of Troll Two, and uh, four copies of uh, uh, Monster Brawl. And uh, we'll have to step our game up from there. God, Santa Slay, all of, <laughs> all of those great titles. Uh, the Ghoulies four pack. <laughs> yeah, Ghoulies go back to school. Um, yeah, thanks four pack. I'm looking forward to the next time we get to unbox. Thanks a lot. Thanks, and everybody, please check out Horror Pack. You're going to enjoy it. And uh, from Slash Tracks, uh, take care of yourself. Be excellent to each other, and we'll see you soon. Mahalo, dog. Mahalo. Oh, yeah.